Hi, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. We're going to be discussing uh, basics of electricity and how it relates to cosmetology. After this video, you'll be able to identify the nature of electricity and the two types of electrical current. You'll be able to list electrical measurements, understand the principles of electrical equipment and safety, examine the main electric modalities used in cosmetology. Cosmetologists use and rely upon a variety of electrical appliances. Knowing what electricity is and how it works will allow you to use it wisely and safely. A basic understanding of electricity will enable you to properly use and care for your equipment and tools. Electricity and its use impact other aspects of the salon environment, such as lighting and the temperature of styling irons. Therefore, it impacts the services you offer to your client. Electricity is the movement of electrons from one atom to another along a conductor. It is a form of energy that when in motion exhibits magnetic, chemical, or thermal effects. All substances can be classified as either conductors or insulators, depending on the ease with which a current can be transmitted through them. A conductor is any material that conducts electricity. Most metals are good conductors. This means that electricity will pass through the material easily. Copper is particularly good conductor and is used in electrical wiring and electric motors. Non-conductors are also known as insulators. It is a substance that does not easily transmit electricity such as rubber, silk, wood, glass, and cement. Those are all good insulators. You have two types of electric currents, direct current and an alternating current. A direct current, abbreviated DC, is a constant, even flowing current that travels in one direction only and is produced by chemical means. Flashlights, mobile telephones, and cordless hairstyling tools use the direct current produced by batteries. An inverter is an apparatus that changes direct current to alternating current. Inverters usually have a plug and a cord. They allow you to use appliances outside of the salon or your home that normally would have to be plugged into an electrical wall outlet. The mobile phone charger in a car is an example of an inverter. Alternating current, abbreviated, abbreviated AC, is a rapid and uninterrupted current flowing first in one direction and then in the opposite direction. It is produced by mechanical means and changes directions 60 times per second. Corded hair dryers, curling irons, electric files, and table lamps that plug into a wall outlet use alternating current. A rectifier is an apparatus that changes alternating current AC to direct current DC. Cordless electric clippers and mobile phone chargers uses a rectifier to change the AC from an electric wall outlet to the DC needed to recharge their batteries. A direct current is constant and has an even flow. It travels in one direction and is produced by chemical means. Alternating currents are rapid and interrupted flow. It travels in two directions and is produced by mechanical means. There are several ways to measure electricity. A volt, abbreviated with a V, is also known as voltage. It is the unit that measures the pressure or force that pushes the electric current forward through a conductor. An ampere, abbreviated A, is all, and also known as an amp, is the unit that measures the strength of an electric current. Milliampere is abbreviated lowercase m capital A. It is one one thousandths of an ampere. These are used for facials and scalp treatments because amps would be too strong. Ohm is abbreviated with an O. It is a unit that measures the resistance of an electric current. Current will not flow through a conductor unless the force, which is volts, 
is stronger than the resistance, which is ohms. Watt, abbreviated W, is a unit that measures how much electricity or electric energy is being used in one second. So a 40 watt light bulb uses 40 watts of electricity per second. Kilowatts, abbreviated with a K, is 1,000 watts. The electricity in your house is measured in kilowatts per hour, and that is a KWH. A 1,000 watt hair dryer uses 1,000 watts of energy per second. All electrical equipment should be inspected regularly to determine whether it is in a safe working order. Careless electrical con connections and overloaded circuits can result in an electrical shock, a burn, or even a serious fire. A fuse prevents excessive current from passing through a circuit. It is designed to blow out or melt when the wire becomes too hot or from an overloading the circuit with too much current, such as when too many appliances or faulty equipment are connected to an electricity source. A circuit breaker is a switch that automatically interrupts or shuts off an electric circuit at the first indication of an overload. Circuit breakers have replaced fuses in modern electric circuits. Grounding completes an electric circuit and carries the circuit safely away. All electrical appliances must have at least two rectangular electrical connections or prongs on the plug. The two prongs supply electric current to the circuit. Some appliances, especially the ones with a metal casing, have a third circular electric connection that is a grounding pin. This is called a three-prong plug. The grounding pin is designed to guarantee a safe path of electricity and prevent the user from electric shock, even if a wire becomes loose. Grounding fault interrupters, commonly known as GITs, are designed to protect from electrical shock by interrupting a household circuit when there is a leak in the circuit. GFIs are required by the electrical code for receptacles in bathrooms, kitchens, and some outside receptacles. GFI is designed to detect current of a few milliampers and a trip breaker at the receptacle or at the breaker panel to remove the shock hazard. All the electrical appliances you should use should be UL certified. Read all instructions carefully before using any piece of electrical equipment. Disconnect all appliances when not in use. Pull on the plug and not the cord to disconnect. Inspect all electrical equipment regularly. Keep all wires, plugs, and electrical equipment in good repair. Use only one plug in each outlet. Overloading may cause a circuit breaker to pop. If more than one plug is needed in an area, use a power strip or a surge protector. Avoid contact for both you and your client with water and metal surfaces when using electricity. And do not handle electrical equipment with wet hands. Do not leave your client unattended while the client is connected to any electrical device. Do not attempt to clean around electric outlets when equipment is plugged in and do not touch two metal objects at the same time if either is connected to an electric current. Do not step on or place objects on electrical cords. Do not allow electrical cords to become twisted. This can cause a short circuit. 
Do not attempt to repair electrical appliances on your own. The use of electrical currents to treat the skin is commonly referred to as electrotherapy. The currents used in electrical, facial, and scalp treatments are called modalities. An electrode, also known as a probe, is an apparatus that conducts the electric current from the machine to the client's skin. It is usually made of carbon, glass, or metal. Each modality requires two electrodes, one negative and one positive, except for the Tesla high frequency. The polarity is the positive or negative state of an electric current. Electrotherapy devices have a negatively charged pole and a positively charged pole. Polarity is the positive or negative state of an electric current. Electrotherapy equipment has a negatively charged pole and a positively charged pole. An anoid is the positive pole, red, and is marked with a P or a plus sign. A cathode is a negative pole and is black in color and is marked with an N or a minus sign. There are three main modalities used in cosmetology. Your first is galvanic current, then microcurrent, and Tesla high frequency current. Galvanic current is a constant and direct current, having a positive and a negative pole that produces chemical changes when it passes through the tissue and the fluids of the body. The active electrode is the electrode used in the area to be treated. The inactive electrode is the positive pole from the active electrode. The effects produced by the positive pole are the exact opposite of the ones produced by a negative pole. Galvanic current is used to infuse water-soluble products into unbroken skin, and the scientific term for that process is called phoresis. Iontophoresis is the process of introducing water-soluble products in the skin with the use of an electric current, such as the use of the positive and negative poles of a galvanic machine. Cataphoresis infuses an acidic, which is positive, product into deeper tissues using galvanic current from the positive pole towards the negative pole. Anaphoresis infuses alkaline, which is negative, product into the tissue from the negative pole towards the positive pole. Desincrustation is a form of anaphoresis and is a process used to soften and emulsify greasy deposits such as oil and blackheads in their follicles. Microcurrent is an extremely low level of electricity that mirrors the body's natural electrical impulses. It can be used for iontophoresis, firming, toning, and soothing the skin. It also can help heal inflamed areas such as acne. So let's discuss the benefits of a microcurrent. It improves blood and lymph circulation, produces acidic and alkaline reactions, opens and closes hair follicles and pores, 
and increases the muscle tone. It also restores elasticity, reduces redness and inflammation, minimizes healing time for acne lesions, improves the natural protective barrier of the skin, and increases metabolism. Tesla High Frequency Current is also known as Violent Ray. It is a thermal or heat producing current with a high rate of oscillation or vibration that is commonly used for the scalp and facial treatments. Tesla current does not produce muscle contractions and the effects can be either stimulating or soothing depending on the method of the application. The electrodes are made from either glass or metal and only one electrode is performed or used to perform a service. Make sure that you never, never, never use Tesla high frequency current on clients who are pregnant, epileptic, or asthmatic, or who have high blood pressure, excessive fillings in the teeth, sinus blockage, a pacemaker, or metal implements. So the benefits of Tesla high frequency current is that it stimulates the blood circulation, increases illumination and absorption, increases skin metabolism, improves germicidal action, and relieves skin congestion. Hood dryers and heat lamps are sources of dry heat that can be used to shorten chemical processing time. Ionic hair dryers and irons are effective at combating static electricity and fly away in hair. Curling or flat irons have built-in heating elements and plug directly into a wall outlet. Thermal styling tools now have the capacity to get extremely hot. Heating caps provide a uniform source of heat and can be used with hair and scalp conditioning treatments. Hair color processing or accelerating shortens the time it takes to process chemical hair services. These processors usually look similar to a hooded dryer and dispense a hot water vapor instead into the hood. Steamer or vaporizers produce moist, uniform heat that can be applied that can be applied to the head or the face. Light therapy equipment includes laser light emitting diodes (LED) and intense pulse light. These types of equipment are medical devices and should be only be used by licensed professionals. Electromagnetic spectrum is also known as electromagnetic spectrum of radiation. It is the name given to all forms of energy or radiation that exist. You have two types of wavelengths, long and short. A wavelength is the distance between two successful peaks of electromagnetic. A long wavelength has a low frequency and a short wavelength has a higher frequency. Waveform is the measurement of the distance between two wavelengths. Visible spectrum of light is the part of the electromagnetic spectrum that can be seen. Visible light makes up only 35% of natural sunlight. Within the visible spectrum of light, violet has the shortest wavelengths and red has the longest. The wavelength of infrared light is just below that of red light and the wavelength of ultraviolet light is just above that of the violet light. Invisible light is the light at either end of the visible spectrum of light that is invisible to the naked eye. Before the visible violet light of the spectrum is ultraviolet light, it is the shortest and least penetrating light of the spectrum. Beyond the visible red light of the spectrum is infrared light, which produces heat. Violet light is abbreviated UV light. It's also known as a cold light. It is invisible light that has a short wavelength, giving it higher energy. It's less penetrating than the visible light, and it causes chemical reactions to happen more quickly than visible light. It produces less heat, than visible light and kills some germs. There are three types of UV lights. The first being ultraviolet A. Light has the longest wavelength of the UV light spectrum and penetrates directly into the dermis of the skin, damaging the collagen and elasticin. 
UVA light is a light that is often used in tanning beds. Ultraviolet B light is often called the burning light because it's most associated with sunburns. Excessive use of UVA and UVB light can cause skin cancers. Ultraviolet C light is blocked by the ozone layer. If the earth loses the protective layer of the ozone, life will no longer exist as we know it. We do not want to deplete the ozone layer because it protects us from the UVC radiation. Infrared light has longer wavelengths, penetrates more deeply, has less energy, and produces more heat than visible light. Infrared light makes up 60% of the natural sunlight. Infrared lamps are used mainly during hair conditioning treatments and to process hair color. They are also used in spas and saunas for relaxation and warming up muscles. Infrared light has been used to diminish signs of aging such as wrinkles, heal wounds, and increase circulation. Catalysts are substances that speed up chemical reactions. Some catalysts use heat as an energy source while others use light. Whatever the energy source, catalyst absorbs energy like a battery. Light therapy, also known as phototherapy, is the application of light rays to the skin for the treatment of wrinkles, capillaries, pigmentation, and hair removal. Lasers is the acronym for Light Amplication Stimulation Emissions of Irradiation. It uses electromagnetic radiation for hair removal and skin treatments. Photothermolysis is a process that turns the light from the laser into heat. It can remove blood vessels, can disable hair follicles, can remove tattoos, and can eliminate some wrinkles. So are you wondering how lasers work? Lasers work by means of a medium, such as a solid, liquid, or gas, or a semiconductor, that emits light when stimulated by a power source. The medium is placed in a specifically designed chamber with mirrors located inside both ends. The chamber is stimulated by an energy source, such as an electric current, which in turn stimulates the particles. The mirrors create light that becomes trapped and goes back and forth through the medium, gaining energy with each pass. The medium determines the wavelength of the laser and its use. Most lasers are classified as level two or above, which means that the practitioner should be working under the supervision of a qualified physician. Light emitting diode LED is a medical device used to reduce acne, increase blood circulation, and improve the collagen content in skin. Some of the effects of LED is that it releases light onto the skin, stimulate specific responses at precise depths of skin tissue, seeks chromophore, which is a color component within the skin, such as blood or melanin. Tissue depth triggers a reaction such as stimulating circulation or reducing bacteria. A blue light LED reduces acne and bacteria. Red light LED increases circulation and improves collagen and elastin production. Yellow light LED reduces swelling and inflammation. Green light LED reduces hyperpigmentation. And blue light LED is used for precancerous lesions. Intense pulse light is abbreviated IPL. It is a medical device that uses multiple colors and wavelengths or barred spectrums a focused light to treat spider veins, hyperpigmentation, rosacea and redness, wrinkles, enlarged hair follicles, and pores, and excessive hair. As with most devices, multiple treatments are required. These treatments are provided only under the supervision of a qualified physician.
because many of the devices and pieces of equipment we use in beauty services are electrical, it is important to have a general understanding of the basics of electricity. We cannot perform various skin care services safely and effectively without understanding which form of electrical current will give the best results for the desired service.